Well, good morning to the fine folks of Raptoria. One's in the chat. Chat where yet? Good to see you all here for more Pacific Drive. Uh, game comes out in just a bit, February 22nd. You can find it in the link on YouTube in the description or pinned up to the top of the chat if you want to check it out a little bit more. And uh, yeah, welcome aboard. This game, uh, I was very excited for it. After we played it in a video, I was like, well, I got to stream. That th th There's so much content here, I can't believe it. And uh, here we are again. Third episode now, customizing the car. We've got a beautiful orange car now. It's crazy. It, it be cray. Like my hurt. Well, welcome back. Good to see you all here. Let's jump back into Pacific Drive. There we go. Ah, uh, yes. Pacific, uh, Olympic National Park. Okay, let's jump back in and have some fun. Wow. Did we play seven hours of this? No, there's no way. I haven't played seven hours of a demo, have I? Wow. Oh, there's the whip. There it is. Look at that. Specific drive. That's right. <laughs> Today's stream brought to you by Pepsi, for sure. What's up, Stafford County? Good to see you. I know, seven hours? Like, it doesn't feel like that, but it totally must have been. Wow. All right, well, we fully repaired the car, I'm pretty sure. Uh, we're like 99%. Good enough for what we have left. Still need a lot of plastic and electronics, but we've unlocked a lot of stuff. I think I want to, like, 100% the demos, because it ju it's just that good. It's just that good. All right, let's remember what we were up to from yesterday. Oh, right, we were actually going to check and see if we have more clothing. Medium backpack will take 20 fabric. Let's check with the... Uh, wait a minute. Anything in there? Oh, there is. Ooh, there's some plastic there. All right, let's dump this stuff off. Well, that's detailing. Let's add that back to the other cabinet. The only gripe or the only confusion that I've encountered so far is this area. That, like, the, the customization of the vehicle is a little weird. But, like, I think if I do it a few more times, I'll get it. Okay. All good, I think. It's alive. Wahaha. Cool. All right. That's good to go. Uh, what do we got next? Check the trunk, I think. Nothing in there. Okay, cool. Okay, so now that we gathered the rest of that stuff. Nothing back. Wait, what do we got? 10 stability. Thirteen out of twenty. A stiff shirt. Oh, I think that's just like damage resistance. I think I could wear multiple of these things at the same time. Wait, it says at the bottom currently equipped. <gasps> oh, you can sort. Oh, piercing equipment. Electric, acid, explosive, and anti anti theft, yeah. Okay. Um man, I still want to focus on the backpacks here. I think that's what we're gonna work on a little bit. Yeah, the repair I know, doesn't the car look amazing? I know. It really I mean that's just right there. Like I don't even want to leave the garage because you know what's gonna happen. Wheels gonna be falling off when we get back. It's gonna be on fire. Yeah, we're at like 95% health. That's fine. Okay, let's go. I think we are ready to rock. We got extreme conditions up there. A double jump would be good, though. Oh, so now we can go through E5. Okay. Alrighty then. Need off-road tires? Yeah, we do. 
That's going to take a lot of plastic, though. So we, we need that. But you're right. We've upgraded from crude to steel, and then... Uh, I forget what the next one is, but we'll get there. And we got a freaking bobblehead. Let's go. And lights are nice. Okay. Hell yeah, brother. Yeah, we'll check more of our stuff when we get back. We'll um, primarily try to look for electronics. We'll try to look for plastic. Just pretty much anything. We'll see what we get. Yeah, super stylish car, I know. It, this game has brought back station wagons, dude. They're back. So nice to have you on Twitch now, too. Well, thank you, Amanda. It's nice to be in both places. Thanks for watching. What do we got? Oh, what is that? A railroad? Oh, can we loot rail cars? Oh, we can. Oh, I've never seen that before. Well, let's see if there's anything in the rail cars. That's new to me. Oh, there sure is. Wow. Okay. I might be carrying fuel. Can't climb to the top, though. All right, that's cool. Wait, <laughs> passenger doors open? Oops. There's a building up here on the corner and a train too. Also looking for vans. Oh. That looks interesting. That's the other quirk. Whenever I open the driver's side door, the passenger door opens. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. There's good stuff in that. Well, let's definitely get some steel while we're here. Cool. That's helpful. What's up, Seth? Welcome aboard, dude. Good, good ghosts. I hope there's not ghosts. Everything feels like a ghost or an alien for sure, though. Well, there went the rain. What do we got to drive to? Bottom to the left, okay. Building 
up here to the right. Oh, there it is. Okay. And there's a train car to the left. You like Phasmophobia? You want to see us play more? That was pretty cool. We played it once, but I'm down for more in the future. For sure. Oh, good. Oh. We gotta be fast with everything too, you gotta kinda like can't really full loot goblin. Uh that looks like a fuel tanker. Alright, let's see if we can go oh there's a big group of buildings up there. We're going to try to go to that big group of buildings. Or... Oh, there's an even bigger group in this side. Wow. What does that dotted path mean? an off-road path. Maybe we should go down. It'll give us a little bit more time. C30 Gaming, thank you very much for the Raptor Hatchling membership. Alright, dotted path means off-road. Alright, we're going to try to go down to this large group of buildings before the zone starts to close. Does this have wheel support in the settings? That's a damn good question. I have not seen that, but... It might say so on the Steam store? Yeah, that was a fuel truck. I'm going to try to speed through this area, though. Oh, boy. to avoid that. Yeah, Duke's a hazard for sure. I'm going to try to get to this large group of buildings. go to the big group. Yo, C30, thank you very much for the 20, dude. The game looks really fun. Yeah, it, it's really... As we played this, it just gets better. It's kind of like My Summer Car, where at the start you're like, what the hell is this game? And they're like, no way. They put that in? You can do that? No way. Are right, we going to drive like... Oh, never mind. that building.
There we go. Oh, transmuter for rubber, okay. Had enough of that. Nice, another impact hammer, good. All right, back to the car. Take a left. Where the hell is it? Also, a dirt road. good enough <sighs> you got the pre-order for this game awesome c30 very cool I hope you enjoy it I've enjoyed the demo I can't wait to play the full thing Coming through the top of a roof, unplayable. They're giving us a suspicious amount of time in this area. Too much time. Yeah, the rain is very soothing, yes. I think I'll keep that health kit on me. Okay. Maybe we'll just drive over there. That was a building on our left, so most of them seem to be on the right. Okay. Let's go. Mel, thanks for upgrading to a Raptor Hatchling. Appreciate the big O support, guys. Thank you very much.
Alright, storm incoming. Ooh, repair putty. Damn, this has been a good haul. Been a really good haul. Make sure I don't see anything else. Okay. Oh, hello. Backup hammer in there for now. Okay, it doesn't matter to close the doors, they're opening anyway on their own. A okay, storm is closing in, we have a little bit more time. There should be another building to our right, let's go hit that up. C30 with another 50, dude. Thank you very much. You played Avatar Frontiers of Pandora. It's a really fun game. I, I want to play that one as well. It kind of came out of nowhere. I was like, I was aware of it, and then when it came out, I was like, oh, that came out? Oh. Okay, we got to be quick, and then we got to start thinking about leaving. This is an amazing haul. We may have a little bit of time here to go behind us. Damn, those two are so close together, man. Little abandoned house down there, but there's probably better loot in these buildings. Pretty sure I hit this one up, didn't I? No, I don't see any way to interact with the computers. Wow, what a great haul. Blowtorch, fantastic. The fuel thingy there. Let me grab that real quick. 
Gonna refuel and then get out of here. Well, we got a lot more time than we think we do. This storm is closing slow. All right, let's get to one on the right. And we'll make our getaway. Unless I already hit this one up. I may have. They all look alike, so. Oh, nope. I think we're good to go here. Oh, damn, there's a blue... Oh, that, that's not enough time to drive out for that. That's like a crash site. Mean they put that there. Okay, we went to most of them. Uh, I don't know if that's going to be enough time. Let's not get too greedy. But let's go to the building at the end. Here we go! Big old box, nice. I'm not sure how to get through those doors yet. Also, I want to keep moving. Yeah, the route to get to that was that just sucked. Oh wait. Nope. Uh, it's kind of tempting though. Nope. The big zone's closing in. They always have these little these little blue circles indicate like the crash site of a of a drop pod, and of course they only close in those areas. But of course. Alright, let's not get too greedy. Let's 
not be too greedy. The game does a damn good job of trying to make you go like, oh, dude, I could totally get that. I got to go out there and get that. Dude, why didn't I go get that? And then you're dead. So, like, yeah, don't, don't fall for it. It's, they, they do a good job. Unless it's, like, right next to you. Mm -mm. Don't even try. Don't even try. Okay, let's go to E1. Yeah, where did them rocks come from? Who knows? What's up, cowgirl? Hello. What's up, Hell's Envy? Uh, this game is not multiplayer from what I have seen. Potato. All right, let's get a lay of the land. We're at the top. There's a way out at the bottom. We can just drive out of here. Oh, we could just drive out of here. No way. Uh, boy, where do we go? There's a lot of nothing here. Guess we'll drive to that. It looks like we could drive out of here, but also it looks like we cannot. Or maybe we have the option to do both. We can either drive to the edge or we can uh, teleport out. And preferably I'd like to get home as soon as possible. We're, we're so full of loot and booty. We're going to pop. Post-apocalyptic snow runner, yeah. Dude, they did such a good job of like giving you so many things to customize on the vehicle. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Oh wow. Okay, we cleared it. Wow. We're fine. Jesus. Okay, well it's fine. That's fine. Alright, we're fine. Can I take a shortcut? Oh boy. Maybe we'll stay on the road. Might not be worth the trouble to go off road. Oh no. <laughs> We're fine. That'll buff out. Let's get some turtle wax back at the garage. something here. Let's just check it real quick. Okay. Nothing too special, but okay. Go, 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 go. Yeah, it's basically Washington State, yeah. A gorgeous area. 
The Pacific Northwest like that is just absolutely, absolutely beautiful. Uh, let's go to that building up here. Oh, that's the gas station. Uh, can I get in there? There's a fence the whole way. Well, I can get in there, but the car can't. building. A dumpster? Better be a friendly one. Oh, wow. There was a lot of stuff in there. Stayed kit in the car. Nice. Okay, we gotta find these arc things to get out of here. I think we need two. Hold on. God, look at all those buildings there. Damn. That's where we really want to go, but that's so far out of the way. We should take a left. I got this big ass fence in the way, though. I can't go left. There we go. Wait, can, no, I can't squeeze through there, can I? No. Well, wait a minute. I <laughs> like a glove. This looks fine. on earth. Keep the car running. Oh boy. We really should just drive to the exit and get the hell out of here. I mean, we are about to, to pop. Oh yeah, there's a big storm blowing through. I think I'm just going to say GG to this. Oh, there's an Arta truck. There's a mini storm blowing through. What were those people looking at? They're watching the stream. All you guys. Wow, he's so amazing. Can't wait to subscribe. Wow. I better remember to use my Twitch Prime sub. Wow. Off-road tires, I think, have plastic in them. Oh, but we didn't get any. Okay. Getting crazy.
Oh no. Reverse, Terry, reverse. So hard getting up those hills. Try that again. There we go. I'm gonna have to drive through those. the zone. There should be something right where we are. Hold on. Oh, that is it. Okay. enough we need more but it looks like we can just drive to the exit so I'm just gonna do that I didn't know we could drive home no we're full fully loaded vans around. Fuel barrel. Stop here for a minute. Leave the car running. Nothing. Is the demo public? I don't think so, but it really should be. This game will sell itself. At least it's a win for me. Open world, survival, crafting, roguelike, off-roading. I mean, outstanding. Oh, there's a train above us. Alright, we just leave. This map was kind of weird, like it's very spread out. can't drive back right Okay, this is a problem. So the exit we went through should let us go further. But the game only lets us do two jumps before it... Per okay, th these are purposeful kill zones then for the demo. Where they don't want you to go any further. Okay. They should not allow that to happen then. You, you need to jump back every time after the second one. I didn't know that. That's ridiculous. Very upsetting. Um, I'm 
the worst part is I can't back out of this menu. So I can't just hit like circle and go back to the world. So we just have to go die. We can't 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 go back to where we are now. Can't go back to where we were before and can't go back to base. Man. I know they mentioned that in the, in the uh, tutorial and whatnot, but I mean, you can write documents all day long, but I don't fully understand without doing. We're going to lose all that stuff. And there, there, you can't just circle and just go back here. High instability battery sapping anchor party. And then it like tells you at the top, don't don't go here, do not enter. But you have to in order to really do it. Save and quit, now that ain't gonna work. I'll guarantee what will happen is if we one of two things will happen. Either A, it'll load us back to the start of the previous zone where we just entered this one, or B, it'll load us all the way back to the garage before we even did this. Ah. So in the full game, you'll be able to do what I just did where you, you go through and then jump to a third area. But in this case, no. Well... I guess we try to see if we get lucky the old gamer way, because, uh... Reload that. So if we go to the dead end, we die. There's no way out of there. We'd have to go back to the start. Um, I thought that driving portal would let us choose to go back to base, but I guess not. Well, we could go to the next question mark, but that's one of the terms of the demos, that they'll only let you do, like, kind of one... You go to two areas, so you can do like one pass through the gate. All right, let's see what happens. Let's pretend the game crashed. Nope, wow. Absolutely scammed. It would have been better if I had just died because we could have brought back some stuff. Wow. Wow. Oh, wait. Oh, wait a minute. My scam worked! Alright, it worked! Hold on, we, get all, we got all of our stuff. Let's go. Alright. Yay. You're gonna manipulate me, game. I'll manipulate you right back. Hell yeah. Alright. Okay, cool. So now all we gotta do is just GTFO. Uh, we don't wanna drive out of here now, we wanna go to these little portals. Oh my god, look at all that stuff. There's a barn there? That's where I wanna go. Okay, let's, we're gonna go across this bridge and see if we can get two of these arc things and then go up there. All right, let's go. Hell yeah. Cheating the zone, well, you know. The zone cheated me, I didn't know that that was the rules. All right, so you have to teleport home. Well, that's a interesting thing to do a quick check. Worth it. Okay, well that was cool. All right, because because we put in all that effort, to get all that stuff. I'd hated to waste everybody's time, and it didn't. We're winning. Dubs in the chat. Don't want to touch that. Don't want to touch that. 
Don't want to touch that. Or that. All right, race against the clock. Let's go. Sorry. Looking out for vans and stuff too, because they could be really. Vans are like really fully loaded, or those Arda investigation trucks. head over there on foot. Imagine if people put in vehicle mods. Was that a gas station? Do we have enough for the jump? Oh, we can already jump. Good. Actually, I think we should go up there. Maybe we should just leave now. We gotta be further away, though. I think we should just leave. go south. Bro, you gotta be like, uh, like outside the map to call in a damn portal, dude. And some of the pool portal locations really suck, like I'm not going to go to that one down there. Let's go. I just want to get home. Yeah. I'm 
marginally impressed. Not bad, newbie. Thanks, ma'am. I right, got a couple quirks with the car to identify too. The passenger side door opens when the driver's side door opens. Oh, it's nice out. Love when it rains like that. So cool. All right, let's identify some cars. Uh, let's see, left, right door. Front left door. The left, uh, front right door is open when left front door opens. Gotta be the other way around then. There's one of four correct. Alright. Front left door is opened. Front right door opens. Hmm. Two of four correct. Oh, now it doesn't open. What the hell? Oh, of course, now it stops doing it. Whatever. Let's offload our stuff. Let's get that big old box. Hi, dumpster friend. The raspberry? What is that? Oh, it's a shifter. No, I don't think we can close the garage door. Would be nice, though. After this game comes out, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of player feedback. and be like, oh, can you guys put in a button that closes the garage door and... They can make that happen, yeah. This game's got a lot in it. Okay, let's see. Wow, we got a lot of stuff. upgrades then. Oh, let's heal up. And check for upgrades. Boom, boom. Hmm. We can make circuit boards. We have to unlock those. Oh, that's unlocked. Okay. We can make those. Okay, we can research off-road tires. In the lockers. I don't think we have to do that. Let's check close. A 
We need 10 swamp coral in order to research the large backpack. That's a biome I don't think we can get to, so I don't think we can get the large backpack in the demo. Powered boots. Oh, it's a full damage reduction. Okay. Circuit board and thermosap crystals. Uh, rapid refuel pump. Do your vehicle faster than any standard pump ever could. Looks like we gotta make a lot of, uh, circuit boards. Impact hammer. Upgrade is the... Oh, the magnetic hammer. Ooh. Requires advanced workbench. What does the advanced workbench take? Four steel sheets. We can craft those. Yes, the station identifies the quirk, and then we're able to learn what is needed to do that. Yep. We covered that in pr our stream yesterday, the day before, and in the video. That was on the channel before that as well. Make sure to subscribe. Turn on the notification bell. Pretty soon that back seat's going to be replaced with a uh, extendo fuel tank, so you guys are going to have to ride on the roof. Let's upgrade. I don't like it. Hmm. I don't like what we had before. Yeah, there's the off road tires. Well, we could upgrade to all four off-road tires. Well, let's put the rest of our stuff in storage, too. Okay. And we'll keep that. That I'll put back in the car. A roof rack. That's a cool idea. See, we didn't forget anything. Cool. And then, um, so we could upgrade the tires. What's the other room in the back here? It's kind of just where you first come in. Uh, like the office or like the room for customers and stuff. But nothing really there at the moment. Maybe it'll be important later in the game.
All right, let's get those tires. We'll need to make gears for that. Scrap metal is getting a little low. Now we can do some real off-roading, brother. Cars looking real nice. You're gonna miss the Simpsons ride, it's one of your favorites. Universal Studios is getting rid of the Simpsons ride and replacing it with Pokemon. Oh wow. Wow. Look at that. Gives no room whatsoever for any sort of suspension. <laughs> the moment we hit a small pebble, I'm gonna go straight into the fender. All right, that's cool. We upgraded that now. Any tools we want to scrap? Let's see. And we can crack open these dun uh, dumpster pearls too. What is this? Oh. Wait a minute. Yeah, it probably would. It probably would work. All right, let's see. Can I put it in here? Uh, since a pearl and a half, you'll need thousands of layers of precious materials forced around a core. Break one of these apart, and who knows what will pop out. Well, I guess that'll work. Oh. Wow. We found a lot of those uh, pearls one time, too. Unfortunately, it was a dead end area. You know how that ended. That's a lot of good stuff. Outstanding. So if we got to make anything else out of sheets, we're good. Okay, what's the next tier upgrades for the car? Let's check armor. We got lead lined. We got... Uh, Oh, we need more energy for that, I think. Armored. Hmm. Seems like all the prerequisites are complete for that. Dan a tourist anomaly. Dan a bolt bunny anomaly. Dan lead shielding.
Scan a shaggy scrambler. Wow, Olympium door. Only logical that remarkable toughness granted by extra plates of reinforced steel brings extra weight. Remember to lift with your knees. Mm. That's like the tier two armor. Oh, we need unstable energy. It's a different type of energy. And we probably get that by going to, uh, and we probably need that by going deep into the, like the three jumps. I don't think we'll be able to get anything in red. We can get those though. Scan a spike puddle. Oh, great. That sounds fun. Water, but when you get close to it, it stabs you in the face. Great. Paddle tire. Make your vehicle all but amphibious with this almost skid-free solution. As a bonus, the wheel also works well in muddy conditions, but is likely to underperform on regular roads. Oh, okay, so it's all for muddy conditions. Mud and water. Dude, the options in this are just fascinating. And that's carbon fiberglass and a limb chip. We can get these, though. The Liberator, Anchor Radar, and Hand Vac. Impact Hammer. Reusable Flare. Seat Rack Upgrade. Side Rack Upgrade. Roof Rack Upgrade. Mounts a roof rack on top of the car, which allows for a whole host of extra attachments. So there's other things we can put on the car. That's not... This is expansion. This is car storage. We need to unlock a side rack. Oh! That's where that would go. Okay. And we can get the extendo fuel tank, okay. We need to unlock the side rack to unlock more stuff. Okay, so let's unlock a side rack. Well, we're gonna upgrade the car. Wait, where do I put it? here okay so we can add two of them oh we can add like four of them oh okay well I think I'm gonna put it here that's cool as hell okay so now let's see what else we can do Oh, I see. We, yeah, okay, there's four of them. Okay. So we can make one side storage. Which is nice, because then we don't... I don't know, it seems like it'll be way easier to run to the side of the car. Inventory reinvented. A little extra trunk space never hurt anyone, and there's no reason that space has to actually be in the trunk. Uh, guaranteed zone proof for at least ten minutes. Wait, what? It's got health. 200 health. That means it could be destroyed and all of our loot could go flying around. Oh, boy. Oh, we'd have a side fuel tank. Oh. 
So we can customize the car that way. So we can do extendo fuel. Oh, there's the back seat. Oh, Chad, I'm sorry. Time to go out in the world and make your own pl name for yourself. Back seat's going to be taken up by a fuel tank. <laughs> oh, and a, synth a synthesizer, too. Wow. Well, what do these take again? Just a little bit of scrap metal? Okay. You know, actually, if I need more scrap metal, I could take these steel plates and just break them down. Because we could turn these into uh, scrap metal late, I mean, uh, steel plates again later. Good. Can you put gas cans on both sides of the racks? I think so. We'll just have to like buy each one of them, but yeah. Hell, we never, we don't really have to worry too much about fuel, but I could see it where like if you're doing like three or four jumps. That's something you're gonna really worry about. Okay, so let's do... Another side rack upgrade. And let's put some stuff on those racks. Adds 15 capacity. Hmm. Not enough room inside your car for gasoline? Mount a little more on the side and enjoy longer, even more exciting excursions into the zone. This is an extremely safe idea. Okay, so now we can make those. We need steel sheets for that. Oh, five rubber. Oof. What about the storage? What I like about this game, too, is if you make something, you can get stuff back if you don't like it. Limb pulse emitter. Not a pun. Carefully calibrated device capable of discharging randomly timed electromagnetic pulses thousands of times per second. The generator makes it extremely difficult for most organic and el electromagnetic entities to hold on to or harm the vehicle. Oh, that's great. So things can jump onto the car and attack us. Oh, lightning rod. Ever argue about whether Frankenstein was the doctor or the monster? Well, they... Frankenstein is the name of the doctor. Uh, now you can argue about whether it's a uh, mechanic or the vehicle. Capture electrical energy from lightning strikes and send it straight to your battery. All right, that's cool. I wonder if that works with those towers that can attack us. Anyway, let's get extendo storage. Where was that? So now we can make that. Uh. 
That yeah, still looks cool. And what about those fuel tanks? Need rubber and steel sheets. How many? Uh, two. But I need to make these things first. No, not that. Oh, oh no. I want the storage options. Yeah, this looks safe. Oh, we got to fuel these up separately? Wait a minute. If these don't connect directly to the car, that means if we're out of fuel... Oh, maybe they do. I see, I see it going into the car. Okay. But that means we're going to have to fuel those up too individually. So every time we come back, we're going to have to add fuel. Now we're only at 36% capacity. We added a lot of fuel capacity. Beautiful. We're not going to have to worry about fuel. How do you go? And I have the blowtorch on me, so that's good. I want to scrap that crude putty because it has plastic in it, and I'll just use this thing instead. Let's do a few repairs. Oh, 
Yeah, that's how you fix your headlights right there. Oh yeah, the game name and all the details are pinned up at the top of the chat. So if you'd like to know more about this game, links up at the top. Everything's looking real nice. Damn. I want to change our uh, our shifter too. I don't like the potato one. It looks like a rose. I don't get it. If you go back and play from the start, what would you do differently? Well, all those dead end areas I wouldn't go into, but those are there just for the demo, I'm pretty sure. We lost a little bit of time in our playthrough, but we learned, you know. Uh, if they release this demo publicly for everybody before the release of the game, then everybody knows. Don't go there. Not so friendly, dumpster. Okay, let's find that shifter now. There you are. Lead platelet. Okay, so we... Inc Wait, how do I clear... Wait, what... What the hell is this thing I put in there? Oh, it's an antenna. Oh. It's, it's just a little raspberry. That's an elite tier seven uh, item. It's only uh, achieved by the greatest of the zone. All right, cool. Um, charge battery, I guess. All right, so now let's check for the uh, works. Yeah, this looks like it links into the fuel tank. Like, there's the fuel tank there, and that hose, that white hose at the bottom, seems to go all the way to the fuel tank. But we'll see. Okay, let's see what happens. Okay, I'm hitting the brake pedal, nothing happens. Hitting the gas, nothing happens. Uh, 
Aha, that's when it happens. When we put the car in park. When we put the car in park, the uh, passenger side opens. So... Um... Shifter... Then park. Front right door opens. Three of four correct. Shifts to park then. This is ridiculous. It's so redundant. Ugh. Calling the cops. There we go. Okay, so we need a mechanics kit times two. And then there's one more thing going on. So one of them is that the hood will open when we go into reverse. Then this door will open when we go into park. I don't know what the last thing is that's happening. Anyway. There's one more quirk, and I don't know if we've seen it yet. Oh yeah, whenever we drive the car, it requires fuel. That seems to be unusual. Are we ready to go on another run? Scrapper. Another impact hammer. Honk horn wheels come off, yeah. Just what we need. Uh, we can get better engines, but not in the demo. And I haven't researched a roof rack yet, but I think it's because we... I don't know what else we could put on the car. Let's see. There's like a pulse emitter and a lightning rod, but I don't think we need those. They also might not require a rack. Like, there's a few more upgrades we can get, but they're kind of more... Side floodlights. What the automobile, what the automobile world needs these days is more side-mounted floodlights. The practical application of such things may not be yet clear, but it looks like you're about to find some. Now that would be sweet. I kind of want that actually, so I'm going to get it. We need five bulbs for that? Wow. That's crazy. And that means I might need to get rid of the um, some of the storage, which is okay, I think, because I don't really... I don't really think I need the extra side storage for now. Actually, can I? I'll just put that in storage. I'll store the storage. Ah. 
All right, let's try that. brother I need them I've got to have them all right what else is there for lights ah and then there's the roof floodlights I knew it oh we can unlock a roof oh wait maybe we should do that maybe we should do that okay that's why we want the okay oh my god oh my god very excited Roof rack upgrade requires two steel sheets. Let's go. Damn. We need more scrap metal. All right, I'm putting everything in here. I want those damn floodlights on the roof rack. salvage all these kits and stuff. And this blowtorch is almost dead, so let's salvage that. We may as well salvage all this broken stuff. Let's go uh, get the vacuum. Yeah, this is the Hogwarts room of requirement if uh, if Harry had to take shop or whatever. Space Needle? Nah. This is nowhere near, like, civilization. This is near the, uh, what do they call it? The Olympic Peninsula? I don't know where that is precisely, but... Long way from home, Dorothy. Okay, we can at least unlock this thing. Hell yeah. Oh my god, what? I thought we were installing a roof rack, not roof scaffolding. Oh, okay. Never mind. We need unstable energy for that stage. Oh well, at least we got the roof rack. Looks sweet. What else can we put on the roof? Can I put roof storage? A mobile workbench. Uh, there's got to be something for that. A trunk in the trunk.
Seems like that's the only thing that can go on the roof. Is there a roof mounted fuel tank? Yeah, whatever. All right, I think we can go on another run. Oh, we're across the bay from Seattle? Okay. Well, then I guess we're nearby. Uh, I think we're good to go. Let's just do final checks, and then we're leaving. Okay, I'll need this. I don't think we're going to find enough stuff to where I need the side storage for now. Okay, let's go. That's new. Actually, it's not, but... Uh Extreme conditions, great. Now, as for that third quirk, I don't know what we're going to do about that one. We've got three quirks on the car. And we need something called a mechanics kit to fix that. which we need more scrap metal. So we can fix that when we get back. Let's go. choose different routes to get there. I mean, it's probably going to be the same. This one has okay loot. I think it'd be better to go left. And then go up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Yeah, we could just drive straight on through up there. I wonder if we get that, if it'll carry over to the next area. I don't want to go straight there, then go north. Well, let's stop at this house. more scrap metal. The bigger lack of that stuff. Oh, I can't go inside. Oh my god. Bro! 
We got some stuff to hang from the mirror. Hell yeah. What did that sign say? All right, we got to look for more vans, more of those Arda investigation trucks. Those are real good, real good stuff. I think it said like and subscribe and become a member. Hell yeah, dude, brother. All right, I gotta scam one of these boys. Can opener. Okay. That's new. Oh good, backpack. We got a small storm coming in. Small storm coming in from the left side. Let's try to get to this other area. Oh my god. what to do in that case. Uh-oh. That was lucky. Whew, yeah, that was that was fine. Oh, that was close. Yeah, totally normal behavior for the zone. Okay, I'm going to stop here.
That's what we're looking for. Oh no. What the hell's the car? Did he pull the car away? Now get out of here. I think that dude pulled the car further into the woods. Maybe. No. That's where we left it. Oh, you ripped the damn door off. Well, that's great. I literally stole our damn door. This area is kind of meh. Could be a house up here. I think that guy stole our door. What a jerk. All right, where was that house? Could be directly to our left. You know what I need to get more of that thermo scrap, too, is maybe we should bring a flare gun to shoot at those uh, robots or whatever, or just bump them with the car and take a little bit of damage, which would be okay. Bump with the car if there's a big group of them, then they'll all explode, and then we uh, live happily ever after, I guess. We don't really need that stuff. Perfect.
We want more of everything. Good, good, good. Storm's coming. You know what I'm wondering too is if he can rip car doors off and stuff and steal it. Could be the same about the side racks too. Like maybe they could steal the, uh, the fuel tanks. I guess that's what those off-road tires are for, is uh, for the for the air. I want to see if we can bump these guys. I want to get the thermo stuff. Let's try to... That'll buff out. That seems random. That's one way to do it. Can I throw stuff at them? Yeah. Would it have to be like loot that we can carry? Alright, not worth it hitting them with the car, but we'll hit them with the uh, crowbar in the future. This area was kind of meh. Kind of meh. Oh boy. A literal hit and run. Yep. Oh good, we already got one. Oh, it carries over. Good. So we, we already got one arc sample. Man, this area sucks too. There's like nothing here. We'll have to be on the lookout for uh, vehicles. Oh boy. 
I gotta go left. Damn it. This run absolutely sucks. There's nothing here. Headlights are out. the hell out of here. We've lost all of our doors, the hood, everything. gonna barely get anything out of this run. What a what a troll. There was nothing in this damn run. Nothing. Headlights are out. They take another health kit. Yeah, I hope that buffs out. Send it. You didn't see nothing, chat. They use limb technology to stake down pockets of stability in an area. Basically, they delay how quickly you're turned into Swiss cheese out there. Swiss cheese? Oh my god, it's, it, it's horrible. Oh my god, the car got absolutely wrecked. <laughs> Bro, that was supposed to be a deep, good run, but uh, I don't know. <laughs> well, alright, we did get a lot of stuff. Especially the uh, very precious uh, air freshener.
Oh, we got some paint jobs too? Okay, maybe it's not so bad. Yeah, that's true. At least the right side door won't open randomly. Yeah, never leave the garage. That's your solution. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, lots of metal. Nice. Okay. Maybe it wasn't that bad. Yeah, this game's only single player. Yep. So it seems. That's all going to be for repairing the car. How much fuel did we use? Oh, like barely one tank. Nice. Okay. All right, so we gotta put it in here. Oh my god, we have a doggo. We're going with the doggo. Ah, two. We gotta do paint jobs too. Gray paint, matcha paint, paint stripper. Okay. Okay, let's get that all vacuumed up and repair the car again. Steel sheets. Break that down. Okay. Well, well, well. I can't believe how destroyed the car got again. I can't, I can't believe it. I thought we were immune with all that armor. Hell no. Time to do business all over again. I'd like to make that damn, uh... Hey, the wheels are still on, though, yeah. We're gonna have to make some smaller runs. Also, I don't, I really don't want to make that repair putty, because that takes plastic, and plastic is so rare. Like, we have 53. And maybe it's not that bad, but... All right, what do we need? Let's do a full count. All right, we need four doors again. And we'll start with the four doors and the bumper. See how far that gets us. We gotta paint it all over again.
Yeah, let's check the dumpster. Wait, these are crude panels. Ah, eh, we can salvage these for metal at least. Oh, you don't get anything for that? What the hell? get anything for these. Uh. Huh. Well, we have enough steel to make our own. Because your inventory is full? No. Stuff will go on the floor and then you just vacuum it up. Like it'll pop out the bottom. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah, in order to find our Twitch channel, all you gotta do is type exclamation point Twitch. The uh, old one is uh, out of date. Chat knows the command for that. In order to update our Twitch link on over 5,000 videos might take a little bit of time. So we're looking for a macro command within YouTube in order to do that. Unless somebody wants to volunteer. Well, it's too bad we gotta paint the car all over again. How many more uh, panels do we need? One, two. Two steel sheets. You figured out how to do bulk change? Excellent, Morgan. Send me a DM, please. Thank you. That'll help. Yeah, the Griswolds would be proud, that's for sure. If only we could find another armored bumper, that'd be sweet. We can't there is a chance to find parts out in the world that we can't necessarily craft. Okay, so do we need another panel? Man, the car lost like everything. 
Ah, eh, we could just do a small run to try to get back on our feet. Although we did get a lot of good stuff from that one. Light run. That's awesome when that light comes on. Oh, okay. Fueling one of those fuels, all of them. That's convenient. Oh, thank you, Morgan. That'd be helpful. Thank you. Hmm. So we could have used that crude stuff for light protection, but I'd rather have the materials. But they don't give us that, so... Sag. And we could make putty, but, uh... Yeah, we need more scrap metal. That's what we could do, a light run. Uh, we have three quirks. We know what the first two are, but we need more scrap metal to repair them. So that's what we're going to go do now. Ah, the quirks are minor, just random doors opening. Like when we put the car into park, for example. Alright, we're going to go out on a light run. Going to try to prioritize uh, scrap metal. Although it seems like those pearls are the best way to, to get that. This game needs a photo mode. I should have taken a picture of the car before we went out on that disastrous last run. All right, it wasn't disastrous, but... All right, let's see what we're dealing with here. Oh, what the hell is this, swamps? Uh, let's go to the end of this street, cut left, and then go to that big cluster of buildings. That's weird. Uh, return to garage. Your car will not survive unscathed. What? No.
All right, so far so good. Uh, let's get out of here. There's too much radiation. Let's go. Let's be quick. Box van, let's go. Uh, we got plenty of plasma. Oh, black paint, cool. You can get Night Rider. Can I get in the car? business There we go ADP. What's the yellow light? Death. Radioactivity. Bad stuff.
All right, more electronics, good. Alright, good go. Of course. There we go. Now we need more scrap metal. Go, oh, whoa, 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 okay. All right, all right. Yeah, that area is a little too dangerous. Okay. Epic Game Store. Oh, that's weird, just free scrap metal. Yeah. Nothing in here. All right, on to the next building. More materials, more loot.
No right. Good stuff. Nice, we found a blowtorch. There's a swamp nearby on our right, too. I want to explore that. There should be good stuff in the swamp that we haven't seen before. Which is why we need those paddle tires, I guess. But that's kind of rare that that comes up. Let's get out of here. Let's go home. Have I tried the blowtorch on the metal door yet? No? Does that cut it open? I think it says it's a repair item. Those are like lakes, not ponds. That'd be like marshy, like marshland. Marsha, no, Marsha, no. Marsha. That thing you saw was not Bigfoot. Never was, never will be. Don't let Tobias and Francis fill your head with that nonsense. Bro, there's a uh, Bigfoot in the game? Confirmed. Uh, another rainy day. All right, dumpster friend, what do we got? Cargo trunk, thank you. Future stylings. Oh, detail. Is that a sticker? What is that? Oh, wait, that's a Hun ornament, I think. All right, let's put some stuff away. Oh, 
electrician's kit. Improvised but perfectly serviceable meter and analysis tool. This will help the, in the diagnosis and repair of most electrical issues. Hmm. We might need that for if the work comes in. Can I put the cargo trunk inside the locker? I think so, yeah. I don't know if you can do it while it's full, though. crude stuff no more. Put the rest of that away. And we'll start the steel panel for the hood. That feature to be able to like vacuum everything up off the floor is super cool. Ah, uh, the torch is for repair. You repair your car with it. can't make those though we got to find something called like marsh eggs we got to find like a uh, some sort of wetland Take a little health kit, I guess. Yep. Hmm. So fixing the quirks would take uh, precious scrap metal. Boop. Boop, boom. 
Yeah, whenever that happens, just all caps, just spam the word refresh. That's all you gotta do. All caps refresh. Not lag. Stream go just refresh. Refresh. Just refresh. Should we check out the different uh, hood ornament? Okay, we gotta install a new one. the marsh eggs we might be able to make another blowtorch actually oh I might not have the recipe hold on Oh, there it is. Oh. Okay, we won't be able to craft that. We gotta get unstable energy, and I don't think we can get that in the demo. Okay. that ornament it's not still in the car is it oh there's lots still in the car there it is cool nice wait what is that oh, that's a sticker great outdoor sticker Black paint. We should definitely try to go for Night Rider now. Okay. Oh, I put the other stuff in storage too. Yeah, I, I can't believe that <laughs> there's so much in the demo. I mean, technically all I'm doing is just basically doing the same. It's a roguelite, so we're just going to the same places over and over again that are slightly different to gather the same materials to unlock stuff. But it's fun to do. So we should keep doing it. I haven't gotten a lot of decals. So the only paint that they can never get rid of is the uh, the chassis paint, like the roof. What if we do black?
Great, that's another quirk now. When I get out of the car, the car... What the hell's making that open again? Is it... That's a quirk, but how? Like when I move to the back of the car? Sweet. When I come back here, Not gonna paint that one that's crude. Oh, maybe we can make another door. There we go. Gives us some materials, that's nice. I don't know if we can change the interior of the car. That'd be kind of cool. Ooh. I like the flaming tire, but let's see what this one looks like. the car go faster. Yeah, it's it's got some Ecto-1 vibes for sure, the car, yeah. Bro, that... Okay, now, now I have no idea. Dude, all my quirks are with the doors. I have no idea why that door is opening. So let's just not gonna touch nothing. Yep, and the and the door just opens. How the hell do I identify that? In the in the quarks machine. Front left door is open ran is it randomly? Also it says dome light. Can we actually turn the dome light on in the car? Oh my god, there was a dome light the whole freaking time.
When the front left door closes, the front left door opens. Mm. Like how? All right, let's give it a try. Two out of four correct. this front left door is open when the front left door is with it when it closes one of four wait Vlad what you just won ten thousand dollars on a scratch off no way no way $50 super chat from Vlad saying he won $10,000 on a scratch off? No way. You better send that to me just to make sure. I'll verify it for you. I'm kidding. Thank you, dude. And uh, congratulations? Wow. Wow. I don't know what the setting for this is. Uh, front left door is opened. When the front left door is closed, the front left door opens. When every car closed, front left open. I, uh... Oh, really? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, that's a good test. Hold on. If I open this door and close this door, will it open? Oh, chat, you might be right. Nope, it opened. Are you kidding me? You think it's any car door when any car door is closed? Oh, maybe. Damn it. <laughs> I have no idea. Does the hood count? I think we had it the first time, but it told us what, three out of four? Or was it two out of four? All right, what do we think the solution is? Because I, I, th I thought it was just the, the door opens when it's closed, but I guess there's a different cause for that.
maybe something was wrong with the order. But uh, maybe maybe three and four were correct, where it was like uh, left front door opens. But what's causing that? It's not every car door. We tested that. Any car door? No, we tested that. Well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. The left front door would qualify as any door, right? So if we open all the... Oh my god, now we're doing and or math puzzles. But basically... Alright, that door is closed, which is any door. If any door is closed... Okay. Maybe it's that. If any door is closed, left front door opens. This, this is what this is what I hate about these types of questions. My my answer was valid. This is true. If any car door is closed, which the left front door qualifies as any door. This is this is lawsuit territory. Try any door opens, then left front door opens. Well, three and four are accurate. It could be this even. If the f <laughs> it could be anything. If the fuel is full, like there's many qualifiers here that are accurate. All right, I'm going to I'm going to install new headlights while I calm down. Front door closed, front door opens. Yeah, but you got to pick a specific side though. are with the car oh my god now there's five issues with the car and we only know of three I think wait isn't the passenger door opening randomly oh yeah I, yeah I got that one there's two other problems with the car I don't even think we've seen let's tinker around with the headlights see if that does anything Wait, maybe when car is in park? Let's try that. Let's take the parking brake off. And let's try that. This is so cool how this game throws problems at you like this. I think we just figured it out. Now let's try putting the car in park. Could be. Try that again. Car is now in drive. Yep, that's got to be it. When car is 
when shifter is in drive, front left door opens. No, park. Got his ass. <laughs> oh, that was problem number five. Oh, boy. Okay, we got two other problems with the car. I don't even know what to fix that with. All right, we need like three mechanics kits. Unless one can be used multiple times. Let's finally use it. I don't even know what the other problems are. Okay, so what? So to repair the quirk, what do I do? Because the problem is both with the shifter and with the uh, and with the door. see what it says oh fix quirk what the hell whoa, whoa what the hell oh you have to use it oh that's okay oh, I wanted to use the kit on the actual part oh well we need two more mechanics kits for that. Okay, so let's fix. It's funny because when these stack up, they're going to get really annoying. Like, you could deal with a couple of them. Like, if you turned on the headlights, the, uh, I don't know, the wipers would come on too or something. You would just have to hit the button to turn off the wipers. Like, some of them are doable. Okay. So there's two more quirks. And I don't, I don't even know what they are. So we'll have to just experience them. Okay. Shall we go out on a drive? A little romp? Things are fixed up better than they were. That's for damn sure. The first computer bug was an IRL moth. Yeah. Well, let's try this one. Just a small romp. And fuel needs to be refueled. dead ends. Well, the engine's in pretty good shape, even though it's smoking. Not that bad. Wait a minute. <laughs> busted. Fixed with mechanics kit. How can it be busted? It's got good health.
Seems like that shouldn't really be an issue. Okay. That <laughs> sounds cool. Yeah, it's like equal parts. Car it's like somebody was like, you know what? I want to make, I want to play Car Mechanic Simulator. But I want to play like Snow Runner. But also, I want an open world survival game and I want aliens or something weird going on. takes more batteries to keep that on too. Oh, this is like a dead end. I couldn't even see it from up there. Maybe it's... Maybe it's not there? What the hell? I couldn't see it from up above or below. Unless I drove past it. There's a trailer there. Is that what that... Looks like it's in the forest between the two roads, though. Alright, let me, let me check the map. Oh, wasting time. Okay, it, it's showing that there's like a thing here and I don't think there is. But there's a bigger one down the road. That's weird.
Okay. I tried to look above and below. Weird. Yeah, I, I, I looked to our right. I didn't see it, so I went up the hill to see if I could look down. I didn't see it. Oh, well. This is like the area from the very first uh, spot you go to. Okay, so those are done. Yeah, this is literally the map from the first area. I forgot about that. Those lights. They got quite a bit of material on them. Did I look within? I did. I want to get one of those uh, drop pods again because when we, uh, the one time that we saw, uh, got one of those, or a couple of those drop pods, we were like in a dead end area when we learned about it. The zone's gonna close here? I think it will. Are we there yet? We are. Welcome to Premium Contentville. Don't forget to type exclamation point gift. Join us. Become a member. Subscribe. Welcome. I think we'll park here. There should be another abandoned house around the corner, though.
Maybe I did pick the area from the beginning. Like the first mission's replayable where it's not going to be too dangerous. Which is really good. Like if you need some basic stuff and don't want to be messed with too much. Pretty good area to go to. Oh, and a fuel barrel. I don't think we're going to need fuel. Uh, should I go on foot? No, we better bring the car. What's up, Anthony? Welcome, dude. Do I know what this game is about? Well, you know, it's one of those games where there's probably supposed to be more mysteries and unanswered questions than not, but... Basically, you're like a, a delivery person who shows up to deliver a package to somewhere... ...in Washington State. And you take this ferry to this... ...place. And then you get sucked into this, like, where we are now inside this wall. There's multiple walled areas, so some weird shenanigans were going on. I think we'll learn more as time goes on. Torch. We may still have limited time here, so we need to be, be careful. Yeah, there's another building down the way. And then abandoned building to our right. Be fast and we'll get out of here. Okay, we gotta go. This is not a bad haul. Multiple buildings like this are great.
Yeah, I think we got it all. Double checking. All right, let's uh, pop some pills. Okay, we gotta drive into this mini storm. emergency teleporter. What the hell's an emergency teleporter? I don't know what that does. Is that gonna end the run? No, I need that. Damn it. Come over here. These are just distractions. Whatever, let, let's see what it does. Okay, that's what that does. All right, now we know. Park. What are you doing? That's fine. Let's just go to that one. But let's get a little greedy. Let's get a little greedy. I'm glad I did that. Goblin mode. I don't know what these things are, but they seem important. Put it in the damn car, dude. Another dub. But my, my, 
what's this? Are you learning a thing or two? Yes. My dear Noopy, there's hope for you yet. Thank you, ma'am. I don't know if we got the tape or if we dropped it on the ground. Ah oh well. We're gonna have to recollect it anyway for the full game. I don't think Lores is important here anyway. As we won't get the whole story. Oh there it is. We do have it. But still. Okay, this must be placeholder and or they don't want to tell us this stuff because emergency or frequency file one and two just say martyr, myth, or monster. And that's it. So either it's an audio file that's supposed to play, which it's not. That's eh, probably f full game stuff. Okay. So we can ignore those tapes from now on. They don't really get us much. And let's offload the car. Here's my little box. Thanks, bro. Such a nice way to move everything to storage. Or at least try. I think we're going to scrap this. And let's do some repairs. Time to repair those. I wonder what that what that means. Melic HT. I think we have a paint job color that's called melon. Gotta be somebody's name. I'm pretty sure the car is like a person. I'm pretty sure. Uh, the vacuum machine just picks up stuff off the ground and then you can just put it in your inventory and then put it in the storage. But it also works as storage too, yeah. Like you could store a bunch of stuff in there. But I don't think the 
if you go to like a crafting bench, the game will pull from these lockers. You, you don't have to have stuff on you in order to craft stuff. It just has to be in the lockers. But I don't know if the vacuum counts too. I just like to put things in storage to be somewhat organized. Just a little. Alright, what quirks we got now? Alright. Nothing new. That's good. Yeah, we don't have to worry about fuel for a long time. We are going to want to do repairs, though. Okay, at least we have a lot of plastic now. are in still pretty good shape. Fuel tank. And again. Put some of that in Sturge. Alright. Do we have any idea what the other two uh, quirks may be? I haven't seen anything unusual happening. But it could be anything. Okay, we could do more storage, but I don't think we need to. That's locked for the demo. We can make a fax machine. I don't know what the hell that's going to do. Kind of need to test it though, figure out what it does. Let's make a circuit board. Uh, oop, circuit board. Boom, boom. Maybe that's for the tapes. Oh, the fax machine? Oh, maybe. goes here. might be able to go in there. Uh, transmission fragment. Uh, September 20th, 1966. After this year's summer uh, exponential increase in seismic activity, geologists now believe we may have uh, may be witnessing the formation of a new volcano or even a chain of volcanoes across the Olymp Olympic Peninsula. Still unknown what's behind this unprecedented help. 
I like how it says in the lower right corner, date unknown, but then it starts with <laughs> September 20th, 1966. Boy. Well, apparently, since 1947, experiments have been going on, so it could be something to do with a meteorite, aliens, who knows. Because this car here says Washington 1947, but this uh, station wagon, I mean, this could be from the 70s or 80s, maybe? But then there's technology from the 80s, too, like the fax machine and stuff. Now, how do we read more of, of those? Maybe it just gives us random messages whenever. Because it has an inventory, but I can't put anything in the inventory. It may be incomplete for the demo. And then there's the... Deco Vend? Retrofitted vending machine that will reward you with a car accessory in exchange for an anchor energy, okay. But we need a limb chip. And I don't think we can research a limb chip in the demo. Where were those limb chips here? Yeah, we need unstable energy. We can't get that. Unless that has something to do with the, the red portals that we see from time to time. Bum, 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 bum. Hmm. There's also this thing here. Oh yeah, the fish tank. Let's try this one. We need another circuit board. I want to get some lore stuff now. Although it seems to be rather incomplete. Let's try that. Upgrade for the Tinker Station will report back to you which elements of the diagnosis are correct. A new chip also adds the ability to spend anchor energy to scan the car for ab abnormalities. Oh, that upgrades the, um, the, the uh, dynamo thing, basically. All right, that's cool. So for anybody not liking the whole tedious thing looking for quirks, there are upgrades to make that better. Still crappy. Installed investigator module. Report back to you which elements of the diagnosis are correct. Okay. So we would still need to kind of identify the problem a little bit on our own. Interesting. You curious on what happens when you fail all eight guesses? It's a good guess. Good question. Yo, thank you very much, Apollo, for the 38 months as a raptor hatchling. Thank you very much for the support. And then the last one is the upgrade for the Tinker Station adds a second chip, which allows you to spend anchor energy to par partially diagnose any work. Accurately pinpointing one factor. But I think we still need to know what's going on before we report it. It'd be like going to the doctor and being like, I, Doctor, I feel bad. And then expecting them to know what the hell that means. Like, you, you gotta provide a little bit more information. Like, what what feels bad? Your, ne your, your leg, your knee, your ankle? Like... Alright, let's, um... Well, let's make that. I, I guess I wouldn't get that. I don't think I'd really be interested in that at the moment if this were the full game, but, uh... 
It, it is still fun to like unlock stuff and just tick it off the list. That's actually kind of cool. Salem, thank you very much for the two months as a bear cub. Thank you very much for the support. Say hi to Brazil. Well, hello. Hi. Okay, let's do the... Um, oh, circuit boards were out of electronics. We can't make those. Is there anything we could destroy for electronics? Maybe the electrician's kit? Chad, I think we could stream this game again tomorrow. <laughs> I, 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 I feel like we should keep just playing this demo. That's how I felt about Dave the Diver and Dredge. Well, there's some electronics there. Not uh, just one. We'll need a lot more of that. Your guess is that a quirk will become permanent when failed. Oh. That's an interesting guess. Well, they give you certainly a lot of ways to fix it, but I'm sure eventually it'll be something crazy. Like, you know, term do turn dome light on, car explodes. Oh, a repair station. Give yourself a little uh, patching up. Oh, give yourself a little help patching up the car every time you return to the garage with this powerful automatic regenerator. So it, like, auto-repairs the car a little bit? So anything that requires unstable energy we won't be able to do, too. So we won't be able to get the analysis module because we can't research that with unstable energy. Unstable energy either is not in the demo or we haven't encountered it yet mm -hmm. oh wait crude flashlight there is an actual flashlight. That's only one... One building I would actually use it in. Try killing some enemies? I don't know if I can. We do have kind of a weapon. The uh, Liberator. Less than precise cutting tool, Liberator will nonetheless cleanly and carefully remove individual sections of a vehicle by precisely placing small explosive charge. I feel like we could use this to get through some of those doors, but they say that it blows through vehicles. Like, what does that mean? Blows through sections of a vehicle. Does that mean we can extract full, full parts from a vehicle? Oh. You might be right. Like, if we come across one of those cop cars that has the armor plating, we might be able to steal, like, use that to blow a door off and then put the door on our own car or just throw it in the back or whatever. Maybe. 
know. Let's see if it gives us more info. We can use six uh, charges. All right. Throw that in the car for later. Ah, right, you might be right. Good ideas. Okay, so we can't get that. Can't get those two, can't get that. Could upgrade storage, but I'm not interested in that. Can't get that. These are not really helpful. An enormous energy that anchors generate gives off an unstable, well, unmistakable, unique signature. I, maybe I should use this. I'm not exactly sure what an anchor is. Is that where the arcs are? Let's make one of those. Oh yeah, there's like a whole system here of something we are, can't use yet either. This is a way to send stuff to her. TWSDOT. Something Washington State Department of Transportation. Does anyone know what TWSDOT stands for? Anchor radar. Oh, that looks cool. Pew pew, pew pew. Put something random in the slot. All right, let's see what happens. can't put anything in there. Extra storage, though. This must be for story stuff later in the game. Okay, so... I thought the yellow balls you used to get out of the zone were anchors. That's what I thought, too. So I guess this thing helps to find those, but they're also on the car. I guess it's if, if, if you leave the car and you're running around looking for them. But they're pretty easy to find because they glow orange. But I don't know. There's probably maps that are like super foggy or something like that where that would be helpful. Super helpful. Very nice. Super helpful indeed. Folks, there is so much more to do, and this is just the frickin' demo of this game. This is like our third stream, and I've already done a video on it too, so if you've missed anything, make sure you check it out on the YouTube channel. Additionally, a pinned message at the top there and a link in the description for this one on the Epic Game Store. If you want to get it there, use code Raptoria at checkout. Otherwise, I don't even know if this one will be out on console, but it would be a fantastic console game as well. All right, folks, we're going to move some of our plans around for today, so I'll be back in just a little bit with the Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag, so I hope you come tune in for that and come chat with me and say hello, and uh, we'll be back, like, right now for more streams, and then later today... Wait a minute. Actually, no. I've got an even better plan. I'm going to release a, a video for a game right now called War Hospital. Let let's release that one now. A very brutal World War One game 
where it's more like Frostpunk. You're managing resources and uh, trying to save people via triage. Let's do that instead. All right. There. Change of plans. Check that link right there, folks, and you'll be able to uh, jump right over to that one. I'll drop it in the Twitch chat, too. A YouTube premiere of a brand, a yet another brand new game coming to Steam today. Actually, that one's out today. This one's out on February 22nd, Pacific Drive. February 22nd. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in a little bit. Thank you very much for your support.